Well, good morning, boys and girls. It uh, is a beautiful day here in central Illinois. Temperature in the mid 70s. It's a bit pretty cool. Uh, we did have a pretty crazy uh, storm over the weekend that knocked down a bunch of my trees. So I'm going to be outside today. I was outside all day yesterday. I'm going to do mo that again today. Um, decided I'd come down here by the water's edge today and uh, shoot my my weekly installment of my bike talk walk talk. Anyway, I wanted to. Uh, chat with you a little bit about an issue that I've been thinking a lot about lately, a lot about lately, and that is when you're in the middle of conflict or there's some sort of tension or there's some sort of disagreement, um, what do you do with that? How how do you respond? And, and the issue that I've been facing myself is this, you need to respond rather than react. Respond rather than react. Because I'll tell you what, the easy thing, the thing that we learn from infancy on, is how to react. I mean, you probably have seen that if you've ever been around, uh, and if you've had children or, or, or been around children, you know, they don't get what they want, they react. They cry, they stamp, they throw a fit, they pout, you know, they, they react. And I'll tell you, but as adults, we grow up having learned all that, it becomes ingrained in us and we react. But the key to successful, uh, to successfully working through those challenges and those difficulties that come up in relationship is to respond, not react. Respond, not react. So, so how, are, how do you respond? What are some ideas that, uh, that things I've learned that may help you uh, learn to respond rather than react? Well, one of those is simply first, don't say what you want to say immediately because <laughs> you usually don't say what for the first thing that comes to your mind. Take a deep breath. That's really what you need to do. Take a deep breath. Take a step back and take some time to formulate your words, the words you want to say, because responding is a mental exercise. Reacting is, is basically so easy and it just comes right off the top, but you need to take a moment and take a step back. And the, the second thing is to remember, as you're taking that step back, is, is to remember the relationship you have with the person sitting across from you is likely far more important than the issue at hand. Remember the relationship. Remember the depth of that relationship. How, where you want that relationship to go. Keep that on the forefront of your mind and that will help you respond rather than react. The third thing you can do it, before you say anything is just restate what they're saying. They have said something. Think about what they're saying and restate it. So are you saying that when I leave the socks on the floor, it really, it really makes you feel that I don't care about the way you keep the house. I mean, I'm just making that one up, not that I've ever left socks on the floor, but restate the concern. Use it, restate the concern in your words. Seek to bring clarity. By doing that, you're showing the other person that you're hearing them, or at least you're trying to, and you're really trying to understand what their real concern is. So you restate their concern back to them and, and make sure they can affirm that or give you some course correction. And then after you've done that, what I, what I really encourage you to do, and what I encourage myself to do, is speak to the issue, not the emotion. Speak to the issue, not to the emotion. Because what happens, if we speak to the emotion, we will likely start reacting again, and we'll say unkind things, we'll, we'll, we'll have an unkind expression, we will do un, we'll, we'll do unkind things. So speak to the issue, not to the emotion. That's really, really, really important. And then fifth, and overriding everything, is this. You want to make sure that you are seeking to bring healing to this concern, this risk, this disagreement. You're bringing healing rather than bringing hurt. Sometimes in the middle of a relationship, uh, we can feel hurt. And the, the natural response is to react back, seeking to hurt the other person. Friends, that never works. <laughs> that never works. What we need to do is find a way to speak back healing words, not hurting words. Anyway, you've got to do that in relationship. You've got to move from reacting to responding. And I hope these, these simple tips are helpful to you because they've been helpful to me. By the way, if you want any, any of these walk talks, I try to do one a week. Uh, I'll, I'll put it on my YouTube channel. You can subscribe there, follow me on Facebook, whatever you want to do. But I hope these are helpful to you. If they are, go ahead and comment 
I like comments. So go ahead and comment because at least I know somebody's watching them and, and get, getting some value out of them and subscribe if you'd like. But with that, I hope this is helpful to you on this day that the Lord has made. Why don't you go out and rejoice and be glad in it and we'll talk to you later.